Namaste friends and welcome to Ayurvedic Lifestyle Tips with Lala. In today's episode we'll be doing teeth cleaning. This is a follow-up video to the tongue scraping. So after we're done with um, scraping the tongue we want to clean the teeth. And I do this in a little bit of an untraditional way and it's not completely 100% Ayurvedic. It's a little bit of my own research and experimentation. So usually I actually use a uh, Sonicare toothbrush because it just naturally does that little circular motion and it doesn't do that back and forth, which we many of us know is not the most ideal way to clean our teeth. We actually want to be quite gentle with the teeth so we don't disturb the enamel, which is the protective layer on our teeth. Um, I will though today use just a soft tooth uh, toothbrush because the Sonicare makes so much noise. Every day, for everyday use, I'll use a toothpaste. And that's one that's fluoride free. It doesn't have carrigans in there. Because it is studied now that the fluoride really is not good for us. There's been many studies and you're welcome to look that up and I can make a link below. Uh, to show you some of the, these studies of how it impacts our neurological development, especially in children. And it also impacts our skeletal system. So we don't want that. So, and I love also that we can use natural substances that we just, many of us have in our home already. One of my superstar ingredients that I use for many different things is baking soda. Today though, we'll do coconut with with the baking soda because baking soda is an alkaline substance and it is mildly abrasive which we do want to use to clean the teeth but we want to have the coconut so it's not too abrasive. You could also use here, um, I was, I got this from my dentist office, this is ozonated uh, olive oil and that just means that there's an extra oxygen molecule in here, which kind of works with the concept of that pathogens can't, they don't thrive in an oxygen rich environment. So we just put in more oxygen into the mouth. So that you could use instead of the coconut oil. So I'm just going to put a little bit of coconut oil in my mouth. I'm going to put some baking soda on my toothbrush and then I'll brush my teeth. As you can see, I'm doing circular motions and I don't have to do very hard because we are using the baking soda, which is an abrasive, but circular motions all the way, you know, to and also in the back. So we want to go through the whole tooth area there. And then the next step is to actually do some charcoal, activated charcoal. And if you want to know more about that, check out my lemon water video because in that I describe how good it is for the internal system. But today we're going to use it uh, on the teeth. And this actually stains the teeth a little bit, but we'll be washing that out. It's impo really important that we keep the teeth clean. So removing any plaque and any stains and buildup. And because I love blueberries and berries, turmeric, right, and tea, that really stains the teeth. So once a week, I'll do this treatment just to make sure that the stains don't build up. So just putting the activated charcoal in, and now you'll see my teeth getting all black. And I don't know if you noticed, but many tooth products now do have activated charcoal in them. So here we go. Each of these steps, you want to be nice and thorough. Three to five minutes. So three to five minutes with the baking soda, three to five minutes with the charcoal. After this, we want to do um, some dental floss. And I like this Eco Dent here. I want to have use one that's a little bit more, a um, little bit thicker. And this one doesn't use any plastic. So you actually just use this paper box to uh, get some dental floss out here. Sometimes I put a little bit of clove oil or eucalyptus or uh, peppermint oil on there because then that goes in between the teeth. Essential oils are amazing. They are most of them antimicrobial and antibacterial. So this will, well, I'll do use this as the dental floss in between each tooth. So. 
and so we go all over the mouth. Now the teeth are quite clean. We've abraced them a little bit so they are open. Now we want to remineralize because the teeth are bones and they, they feed off of minerals. This here is a salt water solution with just big salt crystals, uh, Himalayan salt crystals where I've put water in that has now dissolved. So this is a very strong salt water solution. So I'll just put some of that in my mouth and swish it around and that will help the gums to not recede and it will help remineralize the teeth. And then the last and final step is to do the oil pulling. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that is a trend that's become, or a thing that's become quite trendy as of late. And often coconut oil is used, but traditionally it's more sesame because it's more nourishing. Uh, you can add a drop or two of essential oil in there. Clove is good, um, eucalyptus or tea tree. So again, pretty much what I did before, where I just put a teaspoon into my mouth and then just swish it around. This be, would be a great time to go for your little walk, do some errands. And then that actually pulls bacteria into that oil. So you don't want to swallow that afterwards. We want to spit it out. So we'll take that oil into the mouth, really pull it in and out through the teeth. And then after, you know, five minutes, then go ahead and spit that out. I hope that this was helpful to you and offered you a, a different alternative to what you may be used to and familiar with, with just simple, you know, ingredients that you may already have in your kitchen. So give it a try and let me know what you think of it. See you next time.